Good evening, good evening. Hello everyone, how are you today? This is again your friend and your sister, Via. Tonight, I'm just going to share again about courage because I know, I know, I see how how the world is going on right now, especially here in London. So this is just my message that, you know, the situation from around me causes me to bring out and to talk about this, um, this message about courage because we need to be courageous because with the help of God, we could overcome anything. Everything could be overcome if we have the help of God in our lives. If we are, we, uh, of our lives is in the hands of God. Amen. So I'm just going to share with you some um, verses that I picked up from the Bible that I believe that when fear and worry crept in, then um, we have if we have these words, then we have something. We have a sword to 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 fight against the the fear and the worry, and we could invalidate it. We could invalidate the 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 effect in us because we have this word that we that we are pondering we have this word that we are meditating and we have these words written in the tablet of our heart that if whenever we need it we we just come to draw it out and um, claim it really that is going to manifest in our lives because truly when we believe that god is with us and he is in us, seated at the center of our hearts. That means our thoughts, our minds, our plans, our will, our emotions, our um, our passions in life, and our desires are all committed to him. Then truly and now, we can never do anything without him. Then everything that we will do, it's going to be victorious because. He is working with us. We are partnered with Him. So for sure, if, we, if all our plans in life are all committed to Him, we cannot just do anything without uh, committing it to Him, without consulting Him first, if it is really His will or not, then true enough that we expect that the result of what we've been doing or what we're about to do is going to be a victory. It's going to bring us triumph. It's going to us to, that will make us conquerors, more than conquerors, because the battle belongs to the Lord, no longer belongs to us, but our portion is victory. Amen. Praise God. So here are the, um, I picked up some, some uh, verses that um yeah like what i've said a while ago if we i know that we've been reading our bible and we start reading it but I, I just pick up this one probably if you're hearing this and you haven't been into this or you have read it already and you're just kind of ignoring it and just kind of um, like uh like normality or um familiarity should say then this is the time that we could come on we need to memorize it and Claim it really, put into practice in our lives so that it should be a part of us, like be a part of our body so that we could just use whenever we need it. Amen. Praise the Lord. The words of the Lord are so really powerful. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 says, Be strong and courageous. This is the word of the Lord to Joshua when Joshua is succeeding Moses. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah? So that is a very strong word. It's not only to Joshua, but it is to everyone who's reading it. When we read it and we receive it in our heart, we take it by heart that we know that as if we're taking it personally, that is the word of the Lord to us. When it says, be strong and courageous. So when we are in our situation where we are so weak, we are so fearful, we are so in doubt whether we're going to go through this pandemic, whether we're going to be victorious with, with what we're undergoing right now, then go through with this word. Be strong and courageous. The Lord your God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Another one is Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. 
I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Oh, wow. So good to hear all of this. In Lamentations 3, 22, verse 23 as well to 23, it says here, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Great is the faithfulness of the Lord our God to us. So if we are... If we are um, meditating these ones, if we, these words, if we are really um, absorbing it in our heart, then truly becoming a part of us, then we feel strengthened. We feel uh, very encouraged and um, uh, being given the confidence that um, whatever it is that we are about to face, about to face, or about to conquer, then with God, nothing is impossible. Amen. In Second Corinthians 4, 16 to 18, it says, So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the... The things that are seen, but the things that are not unseen. So we are look. These things that were happening, that happening these times, are just the messages that we need to cling more to the Lord because, um, we uh, it says there that we are not going to look at what is happening, what of the pandemic, the sufferings, the turmoil, the chaos, the storm. We should not be focusing on those because we know this is the promise of the Lord that these are just going, these are just there in order for us to draw us closer to Him. So when we are closer to Him, clinging more to Him, uh, studying more, He is our classroom. When we read His Bible, that is our school because the plan of the Lord is in there. So if we are not reading our Bible, we don't know the plan of the Lord for our lives. So all His plans and all His promises are all in the Bible. So we could only discover those beautiful plans, those promises, if we are opening our Bible and we are reading them and we are absorbing and applying them into our lives. Then believe me, brothers and sisters, I am not, I was so shy before. I was so shy, really. I could not open my, I could not open my lips. I could not raise my hand in, in, in the school during recitation. I was trembling because I have no confidence in myself, though I know that uh, the answer to the question of the teacher is right. I know really in my heart that it's right, but I just don't have that confidence. But brothers and sisters, when I know, I knew who I am in the eyes of the Lord. I help myself. I read his word. I um I ha I, I enrolled um classes that will build me up, that will develop me, that will enhance me, that will teach me how to be vocal, how to be confident enough, how to be bold in sharing God's word. Then here I am. Here I am. Though you are, many probably are not agreeing with what I am doing because I'm not a pastor, I'm not in the position, but in those times, you know, the disciples weren't even disciples, weren't even pastors, they are not ordained, but God has given them the power and authority to share God's word. So this is what I am saying, this is what I am telling, What this is what I am doing, brothers and sisters. You too, if you are listening this, that we are just equal, we are just the same, we are not pastor and we are nobody. But we have received the word of the Lord, then you can share because we can only give what we have. So if I can only share what I am experiencing, if I have the courage, I have the boldness right now to share and I'm talking this and it's going to be um, in YouTube and many thousands going to be able to access it, then start it, brothers and sisters. You have the power and authority that you have received from the Lord. So it is just right to use it. So um, time is coming again. So it's just a few more. So, um, so my um, 
my my message to you is be very courageous nothing should ever be able to conquer us because the one who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world you know the enemy if he keeps pestering you really keep telling him keep shaming him that god is with us and nothing really is impossible with him